for my sister scrapper today I want to share another little mini album with you this is a little small mini album that measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter and the spine is two and a quarter I used the leftover papers that I had from the Cartabella trick-or-treat which is last year's Halloween collection and I added some bling here this is one of the little cutouts I just layered on some orange cardstock I used an eyelet here to make a little hole for my closure I used a sticker from the sticker sheet right here, and again, this is the back, with uh, layered on some orange cardstock as well, and then another st sticker from the sticker sheet. So the closure is just a little lobster clasp here with a little bit of ball chain, and then I had a cute little uh, pumpkin charm from the Autumn Harvest Charm Pack from Butterbee Scraps. So I inked around all the edges with ground espresso, so you just unhook it like this. And it's um, the pages are just made out of cardstock. Again, I have another 4x4 cut out right here. I love the cute little scarecrow. So the pages are going to have this cute little uh, scallop circle here. And then these are some little bat sequins that I had on my stash. Again, they're from Crate Paper last year or two years ago. I don't know. And then a couple more little orange sequins here. I made a little corner pocket. And I stuck two little die cut tags here. And this is a die from Emma at My Creative Time. This little chunky twine is from Doodlebug. I used a Fiskars apron lace punch for a border right here. So this flips open. You can put a photo here and a photo here. And then you flip it over and then I have another cute little image right here. And then I used some punches and just punched some of the words out from the design paper here. And popped it up on some dimensional foam tape. And then each of these will have a pocket on the end. And they're just going to be orange on both sides. And I used my corner chompers here for the side. So I think I only did five pages in this particular mini album. So again, over here, it's going to have a corner pocket, another little scallop circle with a cute little bat sequin and two little orange sequins. Two more little tags here. Love the cute little newsprint right here. This paper is adorable. And then over here, again, some more stripes. You can put photos right here. Not a lot of embellishing. It's pretty simple, but the paper's so cute, it's okay for it to be simple. Simple because sometimes it's kind of good. And then you flip it over over here. I love, love this. It's costume contest. And there's all the cute little kids in their little costumes. Over here again, another corner pocket. I alternated the corner pockets. One on one side on one page. And then it would be on the other opposite side on the other page. Again, the same two little tags here. I love it. Again, the more cute little uh, newsprint right here. Open it up. And some more tickets. Some cute little images flip it over and then this page was interesting it was like a 12 by 12 but it was like a of a neighborhood so I it worked okay when I cut it up because there's the cute little kids going trick-or-treating <laughs> and then over here uh, here's the photo mat again they're all the same my little corner pocket here so this is the rest of this little page or right here it's pretty cute actually and again another little bat sequin two little orange sequins right there and you flip it open. Love the bat paper. And this is another little cutout in the paper collection. And you flip it over. Again, this one says Hayride. Cute little spooky moon and the trees. And then there's the photo map for this one. Over here, again, some more of that bat paper. A couple more little tags. Cute little, these little bat sequins were adorable. And then um, some little orange sequins right here. And you open it up and then cute little place to journal right here with a cute little scoop spooky ghost. Some more Halloween words right there. And on the back I have the polka dot paper with a little sticker from the sticker sheet that says beware. And then again, another photo mat right here. And on the back inside cover, again, another cutout that I just glued down on three sides and I made it a little pocket because I like this little 4x6 cutout. I just scored it fold in half and it says Halloween costume contest. And you write the year and their name and anyway, super cute. And that just goes back in here like this. And there you go. So there you go, everybody. That's my fun little leftover mini album. What I did on her cute little dress, my little witch, I used my black wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see, but put it on her little dress and her little hat, which I thought was adorable. That's my Halloween mini album using the leftover papers from the Cartabella Trick or Treat 12x12 12 12 collection. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.